What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony B2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Every day we bring that money key, that shit like residuals. You feel what I'm saying? Back with another week. And did you sleep? Did you keep? Did you put it on repeat? Did you wax your meat? Did you beat your beat? Whatever you want to call it. Snicker news and all the above. And uh, we ain't got that much time, man. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into this video, guys, Two Wilds Closet new sneakers are loaded up on there right now. And I'm going to be shipping out all stuff this upcoming week. So make sure you put some orders in if you want it. I'm spraying cleaning right now, getting things out of here as I'm trying to slowly downsize the collection because it's too much. Like, it ain't like I got a lot, a little when I'm trying to get, you know, I got a lot, like, probably I got a lot. I'll show you in another video. To start things off this past weekend, Shazam and Pet Cemetery dropped. Now, I have not went to go see Pet Cemetery. I will be going to see that sometime this week, but I did go see Shazam this past weekend and it was a great movie overall. Had a little bit of corny moments here and there, but what can you expect from a superhero that's you know, what, 13, 14, 15 years old. What do you expect a grown man who's really a boy inside to act? There was a lot of cringy, corny jokes, but it was overall a good movie, and I'm looking forward to seeing what DC does with the DCEU in the next, you know, couple of years. It, they really bombed with the Justice League and a couple of the previous movies with, you know, Ben Affleck not coming back and, you know, Superman not coming back. What's his name, Calvin? I forgot his name. But with those actors not coming back, and, you know, Aquaman did good, Wonder, Wonder Woman did good, and Shazam did good. We're seeing what the new DC will bring to the future. This new Joker movie. We saw a trailer of that as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what's up DC sleeve and uh, just go with that. As far as music news, we know we lost Nipsey Hussle. We talked about that in a previous video. RIP the Nipsey, a lot of crazy stuff going on with Kodak Black and a lot of this controversy on some words he was saying and backlash he got from the music industry as well. And then in gaming news, Days Gone is coming up very soon, Mortal Kombat as well, and I'm just waiting on those two to drop ASAP Rocky so your boy can go full throttle. Now guys, starting it off first is the Nike Air Max 1 Golf. These actually released today. The retail on these was 140 buckaroos. I am not a golf guy at the end of the day. Maybe one day in the future when I retire, I'll go off and play some golf and uh, smoke a cigar like Michael Jordan and be horrible at it. But overall, this shoe, Putting it on the Air Max, it gives it a little bit of a aesthetic look, if anything. I don't know about, about the technology and whether it's a really golf-like shoe, but you know, mixing golf with sneakers, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I've seen a lot of Jordans being done that way, and we've seen that with a lot of other sneakers in the past, getting the golf treatment to it, and I'm all for it. Tomorrow, releasing on the 9th, we have the Air Max 1 Susan, aka Missing Link, dropping, and I'm all for this shoe as well. This is something that I definitely have on the radar that I want to cop. The retail price point is $170 and they have them on the Nike sneaker app launch. Now I don't know if it's a drawing, but let's check real quick. So I looked on Nike sneaker, there's no news yet of a drawing, but apparently I got my days mixed up. Now I swear, I looked earlier and I saw April 9th, but apparently this thing is getting pushed to April 12th. And that's actually when the movie drops. So it makes a little bit more sense. Now Nike sneaker app has this for April 12th. Maybe there's somewhere else that is dropping early. Sneaker Bar Detroit and Sneaker News has stated April 9th. So keep your eyes peeled for anything dropping tomorrow. But on Nike Sneakers app, it's going to be on the 12th. Next up, we have the LeBron 3 Home, and these are set to release on the 11th. We've been seeing these for quite some time. I actually thought these already had dropped. Apparently, they didn't. They're getting the retro feeling, though. We're seeing a lot of the LeBrons getting that retro treatment. Ones, twos, threes. So we're just going to keep it going and going. By the time the nines start hitting, that's when people's going to start making that move and start making that look more eights, actually. We're going to see a lot of momentum going towards the LeBron retros. The retail on this one is $175. I would probably be passing on this one, but I would love to have this shoe like as a, if I was sent it as a gift or whatever, or anything like that, I would definitely love this shoe. I think the shoe overall is great. It's dope. But for me, being where I'm at trying to downsize, Picking up shoes just to pick them up at this point is it's not the move. But for any big time LeBron fans, I definitely say check it out. See how the quality is, see how the build is, see how it feels. These are retros compared to Kobe's Pro Tros. So you're going to be getting that old school material, old school technology. And 175, it's kind of pushing. It. Also dropping on the 11th is the Adidas and the Night Jogger. Now these are dropping in six different colorways. One I did review recently, Adidas sent me a special care package of the Night Jogger. There's been one dropping in a black, a gray, the one I got in all white. We see these new colorways now in this raw white slash cloud, white trace pink. 
we have an ice mint slash clear mint raw white and we also have a white and gray version so there's like a ton of new colorways of this shoe dropping and like i said before for the retail price point of 130 it's a little bit above the 100 dollars i would say 110 was where i would love it for it to be but for 130 it is definitely for its buck but if you would have put the shoe at a 110 dollar price point you would have killed it however the pog is going for 110 and you got a piece of that boost on the back of the heel whereas this is a full boost unit on the whole entire shoe i think the shoe looks remarkable i love it i like it call it what you want but overall you guys you you're the consumer bullshit i am too on the 12 pumas releasing the uproar spectra now this is basically like the Thunder Spectra with the uproar, the basketball vibe. It's a Thunder Spectra with basketball vibes to it. It has a lot of the same similar looks that of the Thunder Spectra in all yellow, but however, it has that energy beads on the back of the heel. We're seeing more and more of the energy beads hitting the Puma scene, so overall, I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for Puma basketball at the end of the day, and I actually have a pair of these uproars, and there was that all-star one. I got them late. I feel like Puma's probably dis dis disappointed in me. Like, I haven't been getting out a lot of Puma content, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely want to take these to the court one day. I'm not a baller at the end of the day, but just definitely put them on feet, see how they feel, see how that energy beat goes against the feet when playing the ball in, and, and just go with that. I think overall the shoe is really dope. $120 price point, you, can, you really can't beat that. So, you know, I'm all for it, Puma. Keep doing your thugthism. On the 12th, Nike is releasing a blazer pack in canvas in pink, black, and this cream type of colorway. These are retailing for $100 flat. Pretty basic shoe, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a lot of the Jordan 2 decon. Remember those decons or recon? The ones that just were very thin Jordan 2s, but they were like of a suede type of material. Hey, I'm for it. It's cool, very classic, I like it. For me though, not right now. $100 price point, blazers, mid 77s. If you want something nice for a very, very dope price point, dope type of feel, go for it. The Blazer Classic, you really can't go wrong with it. It's not for everybody though, but you know, it's dope. Two new colorways on some Raph Simmons retailing for $200, $280. Um, yeah, I'm straight. These shits look like somebody wore them on a train track and got ran over three, four times, pulled them off the train tracks, wore them again. Fucked the bitch in them and then kept it moving on a Thursday. Made burgers on a Friday and then sold them to Raph Simmons and he said thank you. He put the R on there and he just kept it moving. Really never been a fan of the Raph Simmons like this, um, but nothing against it. If it floats your boat, do what you gotta do. $280, two colorways, yeah, I'm good. On the 13th, we see Nike's bringing back the Shocks. We have the Nike Shocks R4 in all black and in white. And these are with a platinum type of metallic silver, as they call it. $160, I think for that price point, it's pretty good. I remember back when the shocks came out, those shits were expensive as hell. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember if they were $160. I feel like they were more. But the shock thing came, it went, and it really didn't do too much. It was very different when it came out, though. It was very popping when it came out. But overall, it didn't live that long. And it kind of just died out, you know? But I'm looking forward to seeing this reaction when it comes back. I'm not copying it, but it's definitely something different and dope. And the biggest thing of all is the Nike Air Max on Air Collection set to release on the 13th. Now, me personally, I'm pissed off about this, bro. Like, Nike, why the hell did you drop this now? Like, why did you drop this during Air Max month? I don't know if they normally do this. I really don't know. Like, did the Sean Witherspoon drop during Air Max day? Like, I just can't, my brain doesn't go that far, but I feel like they dropped the ball. I feel like maybe there was some type of malfunction, errors, some type of delay in material. Something happened that caused these people to drop the shoe a month after. Now, I'm not saying don't drop the shoe, but what the hell happened? Like, why are you dropping this so late? The, sh the collection is fabulous. And we're going to go into each and every sneaker real quick. But Nike, what the hell did you do? What went wrong? First on the list is the Nike Vapor Max Air Max Plus. The Nike Air Vapor Max Plus Paris, $240, which hell no, I ain't dropping no $240. I'll go buy some phones before this. I mean, they did something a little different. Respect for trying to do something different, but that price point, you're just not going to get me with it, but it's sorry, but I can't help you. You ain't going to get me with it. You're not going to get me with that price point, $240. I just can't do it. Can't do it. If I did get that shoe, I'll flip it. That's what I'll do. That's pretty much it. But I'm, I'm straight, bro. I'm straight on that. Um, yeah. Next up is the Nike Air Max 97 London. And these are retail for $200 flat. Still cracking the cranium once again. Putting that little extra stamp on it for the $200. When the 
you know, normally retails for, I can't remember, 180, 170, 160. I want to say 170, 180 at the most. But overall, I understand we're paying for the premiumness, the premiumness, if you call that, on this London pair. But overall, it's, it's a nice colorway. I like it. I like that it has the London name to it. It has something to do with probably a London store or the creators from London. So I like it. It's cool. Has some of what of the Sean Witherspoon vibes with the, not really, but a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? But it's cool. Um, not what I'm going after, but it's cool. You feel what I'm saying? I have some other ones that I'm more favorited towards. Next up, though, is the Nike Air Max Soul. Hopefully I said that right now, because I know last time I said it wrong and y'all was killing me. Soul or Seoul. Seoul. I'll say Seoul. Some, somebody said, said, somebody said, say Seoul, like S-O-U-L. That's what they told me to say. But then somebody else said, say S-I-O-U-L. So they said, say Seoul, 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 whatever. Forgive me, okay? Shout out to South Korea in the building. I hope to make it there one day. But overall, I love what the person did with the colors on this. I love how they did the check on this. Like they made it big compared to the small that we normally see on these Air Max 97s. You did a great job, man. Salute to you, $200. I will spend it and I'm all for it. Black with this baby blue and like pink crimson type of feel. What is it? it, it I don't see the colors on it, but overall, it's super clean. Super clean and I want that shoe. Then we have the 97 Shanghai. Now, this one, $200, hey, I want that one. That's my number one on the list. I would say that the, the South Korea one is my second. I love this colorway. It's super clean, layered up. It has like, multiple layers going on with the shoe that I like a lot. So that's why I'm for it at the end of the day. And if I can get my hands on that shoe, I'm definitely going to grab it ASAP Rocky. I'm going out to Shanghai next month. So if I can get my hands on it, I want it. No problem at all. Then we have the Air Max 98 NYC, which I'm also a fan of. I say I like this one third out of all. Definitely a dope one NYC stand up in the building. You already know what time it is. I like it, $200. I will cop that if I can. Those three I will cop if I have the opportunity. I will cop all three if I get the opportunity as well. And, and maybe think about reselling one because $600, that's a lot of that money. But you know, I like it overall. Looks good, rattlesnake, rattlesnake nut sacks on the bottom and just keep on pushing. Then last but not least is the Tokyo. These are retailing for $150. Overall, I like it. I like what they did, but I can pass on the shoe. I feel like a lot of people are gonna like that shoe though overall. The price point at $150, you can't beat it, but I'm kind of good on the Tokyo. It's a little too much for me with all that design. It's like a little bit too much. Like the pattern is just too much. Colors don't do too much, but pattern does a lot. So I'm kind of good on that. And then we have a Mamba Mentality pack that's dropping with the PG3 alongside with the Kyrie 5. And I'm rocking with the Kyrie 5 as well as the PG3 and the colorway on this. It's crazy. Once again, I just said I like the Tokyo with the crazy pattern, but the Mama Mentality PG has got an ostrich neck pattern going crazy on that thing. But I would see it dope. Like wearing crazy stuff on a court is different from me wearing crazy things on my feet to be casual with it. I like that overall. The PG3 120, the Kyrie 130. I'm fucking with it. I like it. And then last but not least for this week, as far as sneakers, we got the Adidas Yeezy Desert Boot Rock. And this is retailing for 200 buckaroos. And uh, maybe one day I might cop them. I actually like these. These look pretty pretty clean. I'm looking at some other colorways real quick. I just want to see. $200? I would have expected more from Yeezy as far as the price point. I thought you'd crack the niggas can low, but that don't mean go do it. That don't mean no, that, no, don't do that. And this upcoming week, we have the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint, I just dropped a review on it. Go and check it out. Overall, I like the shoe. It's dope, the quality is nice. If you want this shoe, if you wanna go after that shoe, if that's the shoe you like, then you will be happy for it. But for me, it was a shoe that I liked, but was it worth keeping in my collection? Not really, not for me personally. Nothing against it, nothing against the color. People think that I don't like pink. I got pink in my collection. I just don't need a lot of pink. I got the, I got Jordan 2 Just Dawns already. I got pink sock and knees. Like I don't need too much pink. And there's nothing wrong with it at the end of the day. If you want that shoe, if you're thinking like, damn, I want that shoe, I just don't know if that quality of leather is good. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna like the quality of leather. You're gonna like everything about it. So just go for it. Just go for it. And in Leaks News, we have updated pictures, official in-hand pictures of the upcoming Jordan 4 bread. Now we've seen them numerous times already on feet and everything. So we're not really getting too much going on. We did see the shoe spotted with the original OG hang tag, which is like that plasticy kind. So we're getting to see that the shoe is trying to come in its truest OG form. So be on the lookout as more and more images come and we're gonna get those Jordan 4 breads that everybody wanted in true 
OG form. We also see the first look of the 350 V2 glow in the dark images servicing. Glow in the dark Yeezys, people are gonna go crazy for them. Will I cop them? You know, with, with me and glow in the dark shoes in general, like I like it, it's a cool gimmick, but overall, when will it ever actually work? When will you actually ever see it? Okay, I go outside, it's super bright, my shits are charged up, I go inside somewhere where it's dark and they glow, and then they die after a couple of minutes, an hour at the most. So then it's like, you know, I don't get what you're paying for. You're paying for glow in the dark, but it doesn't get used that much. You feel what I'm saying? So the gimmick of glow in the dark, I'd rather just look at the colorway itself, which it's more of like a, a lime green. So, you know, it's cool and I'm, and I'm all for it. You know, it, it, it is what it is. Like, but you know, will it sell me? I don't know. As we get closer, I don't know. I mean, it's a Volt colorway pretty much. I mean, that, that Volt looks pretty goddamn good actually. And then Nike reveals the Fear of God Spring and Summer Collection drop and we see some new Fear of Gods in this lime green almost like a Sprite colorway. Um, I'm not really a fan of that colorway. I'm a fan of the orange one however and I'm not really fan, a fan of what the hell these other shoes are like these ones with the, the straps. I mean I, the straps, the strap one I need to see in hand before I make full judgment. Um, I don't want to jump the gun and say like fuck them and then like regret it but I'm not too much of a fan of it. I can definitely say the moccasins get them the hell up out of here. But the strap ones, eh, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little high. I'm looking at the black one right now and they're not bad, but I mean, I'd rather just get the original fear guys. But them orange ones, I want them. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. Straight up. So hey, we'll see how this do. And uh, go from there. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on what's coming out this week. Did you get the Candy Cane 14s? Are you going to get the Jordan 1 Crimson Tints? If you're going to go after the On Airs, I want to know what you are trying to get down below in the description. Let's start a discussion down below, and I will see you guys down there, and I'm going to be replying to everybody who's you know popping off in the very beginning of the video and i'll try to continue that on i'm trying to get more and more replying to the comments that show love compared to the dumbass comments that we get from the dummies each and every day so uh yeah i'll see you guys down below i love you guys it's your boy tony d2 wild i'm checking in i'm checking out peace